so I think, you know, we've been getting good mileage out of him in uh, in some of their more domestic matchups. But let's get into this one, Hugo. Yeah, let's go quick, because that's exactly what MIBR have got in store. Fast out long, flashed off the angle, and Nico here to fight with many teammates. Monacy by his side, as is always the case. Both of them firing off. Honestly, two headshots quickly, and that long take gets discombobulated. I think the desk put it well, where, you know, I, I don't think this is a team that's going to get run over. Maybe you would have low expectations. Maybe that team's FTW for you, but I think M MIBR, even if they don't get out of the group, is certainly going to put up some competitive games. Uh, the question is, will it be against the Titans of G2? We'll have to see. If there was ever a way in, it would be on dust. But right now, aim duels all coming up. G2. Gonna try and crunch this B site with the dribble smoke. Oh, that's a ding. JKS. His aim goes flying he was so there. So ding. To even, the even I felt that, you know? Yeah. Getting some damage off through the smoke. But Hunter's here to end the round. Yeah. Just gonna, just gonna go. With it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. A, a tiny Crouches. man, a tiny man! Oh no! But the tinier the man, the larger the fall. Hooksy dead, and now Hunter in mid. Come on, give us that bit we were waiting for. Oh, hang on, hang on. He's not firing he's, that far. He's not, he's, not, he's, not he's pretty tamed with it, isn't yeah, he? He's saving when, his ammo for later. When Zywu uses these, it's like a bison has entered the pistol round. Yeah. Oh, but that's the for, uh, for G2, it's much more calm, it's much more collected. They're going to walk it over the line. You know, it's nice uh, that Hooksy, when we have those interviews, when we hear from him, he's he's not, he doesn't seem stressed. Obviously, I'm sure there's a lot going through his head, but he seems to be able to put up with the BM and uh, that of which there has been a lot. Guys, chill out, okay? But at the same time, yes, we're hoping for, for better games out of him. To be fair, back in Blast, it was weak. It was bad. You know, he was struggling to get 10 kills a map. And then by the end, by the last matchup against Vitality, he actually put up a great game. It was, uh, uh, you know, 0.8 rating, far better than all the other matches he'd had and so maybe some ring rust shaking it off getting used to the tippity top of tier one and uh in we go fast out long yeah uh, and azan and nico's gonna turn quickly find a single hooksy helps nico runs out of ammo but that's when hooksy comes in to mop up these eeks let's go hooksy uh, yeah holding down the pit side sure a fan favorite in the making that smoke is not ideal from G2. <laughs> Meant to land, bounce off the wall and land in the door, but don't worry, hooks he's got it on lock with this bomb at his feet. No one's helping him, though. He doesn't need, he don't no help. need help. hooksy has got it on lock three kills. Are they going to flash for him? No flash available. Uh, he's just, this is a confidence round. They're yeah. saying, go on, Hooksy. Go Finish get them it. all. Go get the scout. And he's waiting. He would love a chance to pop off with this scout. Tag on the first man, but fans. Big Hooksy still down in the pit. JKS is even wrapped in the top middle, and right now, Henny does not have an easy path forward, but with three of these players tagged up, this scout is going to hit like an Whoa. orb. There's the swing. Whoa. Hooksy tapped out by a Glock. JKS, the only man with full HP. He's coming in for the big save through the long doors wrap. Don't want to let this get too expensive. Henny is on a bit of a timer, and that timer, it's run out. Yeah, nice. Well timed, and G2 keep it fairly clean, right? They get out with the guns, the two M4s, and uh, three alive. So all is good right now for G2. Bit of a force up for MIBR. I like the pace out of these rounds, even if the pace is getting sucked out by this long defense. Both rounds, it's been held uh, strongly by G2 in that position. So let's see what happens once we get guns first. A few more pistols dribbled in. One flash on Jota. Luke stat padding round perhaps, or gift a gun. Again, got no support, oh! that's a perfect flash. What can you do? A perfect flash to I get know. the gun and, and if they it leave. If it weren't for that being like, you know, tippity top, 0.01% of flashbangs, who see that would have been the the mow down moment, really. You're, you're like Deutsch chat. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm a big Hooksy fan. Yeah, I can see that. I'm, I'm building the story. He's a real talent. Yeah. Right in top mid, Hunter making Ooh. money, baby, making it rain. Ching. JKS and Nico peppering them from afar. With the pepper comes the salt, and Exit's going to feel that. Nico deals with it. 
And that's the 3-0 and for G2. Yeah, a bit of bowling up top mid for the Cousins, and it's going to be nice and clean again for G2. I say nice and clean. Couple of deaths, not the end of the world. As long as you keep three, you're going to be happy by the end of the day. That was a bloody good flash. Got to give it to them. But trying to put their money where their mouth is and went around here on the T side. Guns coming out. Still a scout for Monacy. Hardly going to hold him back. Henny on the orb. You know, we saw for a long time uh, after the departure of Woody from this team, Bieta Enesan, run that AWP. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, this was a very young player who came from MIBR Academy. He had a short stint in the main team playing the blast circuit, uh, but he wasn't orping then. Then Woody left. Uh, Bieta Enesan joined, and he was the main AWP. He'd never been an AWPer. He was never meant to be an AWPer, but he was actually really solid. Uh, now, obviously, he was back. Like, he was actually like an impressive yeah. AWPer. Like, he was good. If, you, if you'd watched MIB for the first time while Bieta uh, uh, Enesan was AWPing, you would have thought, like, oh, he's just a main AWP player. Yeah. Like, he, he took to it like a duck to water. But now Henny's back. Obviously, he gets priority, but Bieta Enesan will probably be that second AWP, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on if that comes out on CT side dust too. Very possible, because, yeah, he He's also, he's also a talent, but back in his normal role as a rifler, hooksy has got the shadow advantage. This is big. I mean, without Util, if they dry walk this, it's a, it's a free kill for yeah. the first. Past that point, we'll see. There's the shadow. Oh, finds him in soon. He still oh, gets the kill. King. He doesn't need King. to see his opponents. Backs out, drops the molly. They are in the doors, though. He goes back, he for, more. back for more. That's a bit hungry for Hooksy, and he'll get a bit of a meal. He'll make a bit of a meal out of that kill. More damage done, but Monacy's at long, looking to finish the job. Nico taking position on the short side, dodges the flash. Lovely. And responds with the double. Smoke mm. might be down, but Nico don't care. Monacy now holding the cross, armed with this scout, gonna hit like an AWP if your name's Exit. And so he will live up to his name and get the hell out of there. It's a fourth for G2 as the save's been called for. This is a bit of a non-starter for MIBR. Oh, even getting the upgrade as well. Lovely stuff. Money, 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 money. G2 get out with a padded wallet. This one made me nervous. I can't lie. It made me nervous. Dude, and going back in a bridge too far, at least for MIBR. They'll call a pause and try and figure out how the hell they make this round work. Two guns. Um, yeah. So, you know, those are always a little bit stressful, but this is very reassuring. I think, you know, if G2 are going to perform up to the level we expect, if they do want to make it out of the group, this is a matchup they, they need to get away with. And I would say they need to put it away 2-0, uh, just to really uh, give us faith. You know, if they if they take Dust 2, I think we're almost certainly poised for 2-0, right? Like, not a map, Ancient, that the we see um, and, and might be our play. G2, funnily enough, on Ancient, uh, we'll talk about this more later, but it's not a map they pick. They never pick it. They always get it picked against them, or they float it for a third. And the last few games they've played on it, uh, all in the last 30 days, have been really good. So that's that's great for G2. Now starting to pick it into series. Uh, it, you know, it's similar to like uh, FaZe picking overpass. Like, maybe just getting some, some practice, some test against some teams lower caliber. Henny, there's a lovely shot onto Nico. The Monacy will get his revenge. Or is out on a limb. But retrievable for MIBR. They'll go back for it. Two guns there, in fact. Eco's weapon will be lost as well. So MIBR can grab those weapons. Suddenly, this eco round ain't looking so ugly. Gonna try and walk it out middle. Monacy smoked off over at A with this orb. So they're relying on pop shots for him to help out. Hunter's got the info that mid's been taken, and so now he's got to answer the call. Ooh. Oh, hello! There's wow. the mow down. JKS with the reply. Two clean kills. Controls the spray. Oh. And even looking at oh, oh, that nade's oh. going to do it. Oh, it just Close. went past Jota. He gets ahead of it. Lovely hold here from JKS, though. The anchor man. Living up to the name. Jota. Oh, oh bloody hell! Crikey! Anymore. Oh, no, it's just the one and done. Oh, that was freakish. That, that was, was, that was a proper ghoulish kill, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> that
me feel some kind of way, man. That was like that Ooh. system from Fallout just did the aiming for him, Someone man. called Dan M, because that is that is too hot to trot. MIB haven't made a mistake in this round, though. They didn't go and get that AK on Cat. They knew that Nico died. They went and got the orb, and then they, they let the AK just you know sit there. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't get it. They had time for it. Maybe they, I don't know, feeling the burn, feeling the stress. Uh, didn't think about it, but there was a free AK in that round next to the orb. Either way, small problem to have. The bigger problem is the lead. He's getting out of control. Hooksy got to give up long there. Oh. Flashed off, spam oh. through. Oh, Mate, but he, he doesn't see out. them, but they can't see him either. He's still down to eight. Don't think he'll be getting the Bogdan treatment just yet. Monacy's up on catwalk. Hooksy's gone back to spawn. And now Monacy has to take that long position instead. Might be on just trying to be methodical, getting that until down, lashing the orp off. Monacy doesn't fire. He waits, and he waits wisely. Hits that easy kill and almost gets a collapse there. But Turtle takes his head off, and now MIBR can make a move. And they've slowed right down. Smoke's going in for the cross. Going to give them a little veil to move in behind. Nice double nade to suck a bit of momentum out of this one, right? Two players tagged up by them. And Nico playing over the top of this smoke might be blinded. Oh, my oh. God. Turtles trying to make a play. Nico spammed out, and we're into this 2v2. Joe is going to try plant the bomb. Hunt a little ways out. Oh, almost peaked by the sight man, but he might get his revenge after all. Moving up the catwalk now. JKS still pinned in. That flash is meant to unleash him. Gets him out of the corner. Gets him into the fight. Jota with this orb. Wins that initial engagement, though. And for JKS, chances to win this are fleeting. Okay. Hoping he can yeah. RNG his way to the 1v2. Did they lose track there for a second? It looked like they did. They were they were checking dead angle. JKS was spamming car. Maybe he thought that player had crossed back behind the car, but he was deep on long. The flash from Hunter was perfect to get them back in. Hooks even got a smoke spam kill through the long smoke here. I mean, he's not even seeing his opponents, but he's certainly putting them to bed. One for one. A nice trade work for MIBR. Gets a bit dicey. They get put into separate 1v1s, isolated by G2, but both of them won out by the Brazilians. So they're on the board. Or misses the shot, took a spawn peak. Jota will give that back to Henny. Eventually, he's saying, wait a sec, I'm holding mid. Wait, wait, okay. You can have it now. So MIPR will reset back to B. It's a long way. And he goes for more mid fights. In fact, they stay outside on long. Hooksy plays far away, right. plays deep in the pit. Nico far away. Is he gonna he's gonna flash Hooksy into T spawn. No, as Watch if. this. As if. Hang on a moment. Oh, they're bringing out the big guns. Yeah. They've deployed their secret weapon. Love Hooksy that. running through the long doors with a flash from Nico to set him up. That was beautiful. Early little 4v4 right out of the gate. And you don't mind, you know, sacrificing an MP9 like that for the AK. Would have been so sweet if he could have got out, but the trade was there. Cool play, though, for G2. Just being proactive. They get a lot of info. They know that MIBR was still sat outside along. So they'll have to change tune. Go back towards mid. Resmoke to be at 40 seconds. G2 doing a great job of holding on to Uto in this round. They still have a molly, a smoke, a nade. Some flashes for a retake, perhaps. It's going to be that mid to be, though. Smoke comes down. Reliant on Hunter and JKS. Yeah, last time Hunter got wrecked here, but JKS was just a wall they couldn't get past. It's got to be the other way around this wow. time. And Hunter, that's a really nice double. That's going to keep G2 interested TikTok. in retaking this. Monacy waiting for the smoke fade. Ooh. Don't give him a fight here. Nico. Nico. What? Nico was the one to get a kill there. Oh, he's that got it. He's got it. Tumbling away. He's got it. It's just going to get it planted. But now is to embark on the 1v2. Monacy and Nico still to be, and Nico's oh, through. gone through the Molotov into the bomb site, and that's given over the 1v1. Exit, just Monacy left to be, spots him in the window, but this fight's hard, oh. and Monacy, fast as lightning, yeah. finds a sixth round for G2. He makes it look easy. That is not an easy clutch for Monacy, not at all. Getting pivoted behind the box, just quick shot. 
and wins the round. Nico just takes matters into his own hands there, right? Not just flashing his in-game leader out through the long play, but coming through that smoke, one digging the bomb back into B, and then even running through the Molotov indoor. That bomb fortunately went flying into Exit's hands, giving him the plant for the money, but no round win for MIBR. Hooks are getting hype. Quick. Oh, Monesty wants to try his hand at the long fight. What? That, that looked good, but... Turtle's oh, been able to no. tank it, and the flash <laughs> sets them up. Oh, I love it. All right, Hooksy's retrieved the AWP. He's about to show us. Guys, Monesty's only this good because I let him use this gun. He's done in that AWP now over at the long side. and is solely responsible for A, so he's got a lot on his plate here. Yeah, Joe's playing the flamey spot, tucked in behind top mid boxes. He's at least got the flank, even from T-spawn, covered. But... MIBR in no hurry to make moves. They've got guns, they've sat back at the long side. Nico and Hooksy on the A side of things. Problem here is no flashes. You do have one on Hunter, but you'd love to pop the players through the smoke or flash your up for a peek deep on long. Those are no, not really options here for G2. That one flash is gonna get used by Hunter or rather thrown over to Hooksy instead to set someone else up. Playing deep down in spawn. Out it goes. Hunter goes for the check on long. Sees nothing, but MIBR will be peeking it late with a flash of their own. They're being very methodical with their util R MIBR. Flashing every fight, every corner peak. 30 seconds and the smoke's come down. Yeah, they are crossing behind them. Hooksy's going to lob in a bit of util, try and slow this down. JKS nice. will catch Jota coming up, Cat. A 4v4, Turtles oh. made it in, and now is alongside oh. Nico. That's a quick shot to find Hooksy down in CT, and that's going to force a save. The Mac 10 of Turtle. Real nice to make that. I mean, the nade, nade. The nade could big. be big. It's it, big. Could, it could be two. Oh, it's one. The man at ramp, unscathed. Why but not? Yeah, at Enazan is low. Hell, man, they kind of want to give yeah. this a look in. They've been given a bit of a reason now. Hunter, low HP player on the ramp side. If he can deal with exit, maybe there's a chance, but he's missed that Ooh. check. Even though he gets one, JKS still left in a rough spot. That's a clean kill. Oh, and he goes up and over, but tumbles down as exit wins the 1v1. MIBR with another round on this T side, just barely able to get it over the line. It's important that they are able to win the 1v1, put another round to their name, but damn, it's a really nice effort from Hunter and JKS. Yeah, money is, is part of the reason you need to go for that. Not just because they get the nade kill, but they realize they're broke anyway in the next round. If they can, you know, if they win it, so it might be hard. That was a, a reset round, essentially, for both teams. So. G2, give it a go. They get four kills. But MIBR building into this game now. A couple of rounds on the T side, and I'm enjoying the methodical approach, right? They're playing they're playing nice, safe CS, our MIBR. Setting up crossfires in post plants, using a lot of util, not rushing too much in five on four. It's not a pretty one. Scout with pistols, and he sees that cross. He's not exactly got an orb. So everyone's oh. happy to take that duel, but Henny comes out worse for wear. Nico holding the lower boost, just in case. It's pretty cool, because like we do have two very, very flashy AWPers. You know, I think when Henny was kind of, you know, real peak form, I would say would be back in the Furia days, you really got like a taste of just how fast this guy can be, how he can step up and dominate a game. While having him next to Monacy, you know, someone so quick, they nicknamed him The Flash. It's uh, it's going to be a bit of a rip-roaring AWP head-to-head. -head. This little Force Buy has not started the way G2 wanted. Nico's already out of the round. Early man advantage for MIBR means if they just kind of trade evenly, they could still win this out. But they're hoping for something clean. They want to make a bit of money here. What, on random spam? Okay. Honestly, eats a bullet through wood. And MIBR group back up on Cat. Five on four. Hook sees Deagle on default. Monacy just getting here in time, but he doesn't look like he wants to commit. Hook sees Lion Muto. Bro, they're already out. You got to crouch. Oh. Quick shots needed. They just delete him. The second he even swings, he is gone. Five on three. MIBR get the plant here and likely get the round. With G2 uh, on a force with no money in the next, they're just going to save what little they have. From positions alone, they know they can't win this one. 
And so that's a huge drown for MIBR to stabilize the economy with five alive on a T round. Starting to build up a, a nice little T side here, right? All the makings of one. They've got G2 right where they want them. Backs against the wall, having to just squeak out, you know, this next eco round with the guns that were saved forward. They're able to stick the landing versus this. On a route to four with a chance for even more. Every round you'd be winning would be breaking the money of G2. Oh! Lovely for Henny. Bye. Lights out on the opener. Ooh. Very blind is Nico. Henny wants more. Charging up. They're charging up mid. Hunter made it. Turtle should have this locked, though. From outside of the long doors, unless Henny exposes himself first. Nico. Tap from low. That's clean. Expect nothing less. Smoke available. Oh, he goes for the gun. Jones is there to trade. There's Hunter activating. Got an AK, but dead from lower. If Nico lived longer, maybe Hunter could have gotten weird in T-spawn. Now the bomb secured by MIBR and middle with that smoke. Bit of a weird one, but they'll take it. Stops Hooksy from aggressing through. Yeah, I want to see anchors B. I like this, though. I like that MIBR have just slowed right down. I think it's a perfect kind of call for the situation they're in. They don't have info as to where these last players are, so they're going to wait and see if they're given a reaction first, and they are given the reaction. Hooksy dead pushing mid. Now they feel comfortable in the 3v1. If they can get the info oh, that Monacy's B, that bomb not going to head this way. Going to look to move up the catwalk. Monacy... Oh, terrifying. Just going to have to let them get away with this one, I think. If he could get another kill, that'd be pretty sick, but not going to happen. Henny's holding from the catwalk. And so we have that 4-6 that we promised you. Now we're going to have the yeah. reinvestment for G2. They kind of need to get right back on the horse or risk getting trampled over. This could very quickly turn around, right? It went from G2 kind of dominating early on. Things were really looking good. They had like an initial, what, five-round lead without even a, a round on the uh, on the uh, on the board for MIPR. That's got the there eventually. Yeah, on the on the uh, on the on the on the present RG2 in this round, taking long quickly. Henny, oh, that's a ballsy play out through the smoke, and yeah, Nico's not going to let you get away with it. He was scoped on the corner, maybe, but that smoke pit side drew his attention over. Free AK on long. Mika will go for it. Or rather, AWP. JKS and Hunter tucked in a B. Smoke down. Hunter swings as it goes down, and Bieta Enesan was not expecting that P. Saw it come from the site. Was not expecting a player up close. So, five on three for G2. Feel like this is a round you cannot balls up now. Everyone's got double setups except Nico needs no support in middle. You can see in a one and done spot, but he's been good for them. Well, they flash this one as well. They've seen him pit, they've seen him indoors. They've not seen him here. And Monacy's even got that first draw, so surely a kill for him, and then Hooksy can mop up the rest. Go for the check. They go for the boost. My god, is this gonna work? <gasps> Oh, that's so creepy, crazy, cruelly. Out through long they go. Hooksy. Sick boost, guys. Hooksy's yeah. been waiting here the whole damn time. Oh, he's trying to get more. Trying to really milk this. Oh. But he ends up covered in milk. It's all down him. Exits the man to deal with it. Still, the rest of the gang should have long under lock and key. An MIPR. Back to the drawing board on this one. G2 with the seventh. They're even trying to hunt down this last man. Elas bebemos a leche. Uh, holding on, but they, oh, yeah, the Sears barrel hunter gets it done. That boost is so cool, man. That boost is awesome. 
What a way to peek long. Monty couldn't even see it. I'd love to see his perspective. You feel like there would be something for him, but I guess not. He at least gets out of dodge. If they lined up the headshot there, then that's a way in. But they still weren't ready for Hooksy in the corner. Keeping it fresh at least. Seven rounds to G2. Worth the wait after those Ecos and those forces. Monas even takes a shot mid from Henny on the orb. Might be our start strong lower. He stays in mid with the AW. Looking for cat aggression. Long is actually really nice here. It's already, you know, shaping up the idea of what MIBR wanted to do in this round. G2, we're getting a good beat on it. Hooksy, we know he likes playing around this little spot in the door, just gonna watch for shadows. They can leave him now. Monacy's still hanging around here to like really sell the bait and switch, but there comes a point where you do have to just consider it's not the long play, and that's why you've been allowed to take all this space. And so Monacy Ooh, does start no, to go back. That Molly. Jota dead over at short. The Molly hit him, stopping yeah. him in his tracks, and then he got spammed after the after the fact. Hooksy activating Yoinka. on the flank. Will get 180 by Henny. It's an <laughs> impressive shot. Could have happened to anyone. Sure. A 4v4 now. MIPR looking like they want to try an NB. Yeah, good luck. JKS and Hunter are here. Talk about a B anchor. JKS tucks in close. Hunter's helping out from the site, throwing nades, even checks middle. JKS going up and over on the boxes, and it's the same. It's, uh, it's donezo. There we go. Bit of a non start Such around again. Such a scary yeah. B hold that they don't want anything to do with it. Yeah, plus it's like you saw the long flank and even though it didn't get a kill, even just it being there is scary enough. It's like at that point, if you're going B and they've just re-smoked tunnel and you're already going through it and they've taken long, like look at the shot that Henny hit. I wasn't messing around when I say that like, you know, not really. Most recent one, right? When we talk about Fury or Henny. Oh, that smoke lower is scary as well. It's great the JKS throws that on the round that he's solo B because now MIBR, they're not going to B rush. They're going to dedicate time to clearing lower, to carrying all this real estate. And so, yeah, okay, JKS doesn't have a smoke for the site. That's the downside, but it's drawn a lot more attention. It's, it's calling a lot more uh, pause out of MIBR and denied a B rush. Too scared of their flank to make any magic happen. Now that's given time for G2 to not only take long, but rotate Hunter back into B. Hooksy on an off angle at long. Very keen to fight this angle. It's a dangerous one, but no one's looking there. Got this layered B peak. Wouldn't want to walk into that. Meanwhile, Henny's scrounging for a pick, but as you can see from the minimap, absolutely no options for one. G2 tucked in tight, 50 seconds, and he's got to go in himself and find one. Pick a player out of position. Meanwhile, G2 are aggressing. That's a spot. Jota sees Nico go up. He doesn't want to throw away this advantage or this five on five, rather. At 40 seconds, the pressure is on MIBR and they'll come creeping in behind. Yeah, Renazan up at the front. Oh, domed by Nico. And even though the kind of like all bait and switch with Nico at the back, it doesn't doesn't go the way they wanted it to. They still get out with the 5v4. The results are still comparable and they're happy with it. And he's on a bit of a solo venture out through mid while JKS and Hunter responsible for holding back this very labored B play with seven seconds left, it was always kind of wishful thinking that you would get into B there. Get him. Yeah, revenge is sweet. So, so sweet. Double orb? No, not for now. But gonna keep it clean with four alive on a gun round. And that might be our just get kind of uh, stopped in their tracks. Everywhere they go, death and denial by G2. Couple of shaky rounds in the middle of this half, but G2 have maintained balance and order over their CT side. Nine rounds is very good. No complaints at all, and maybe some extras on top with pistols out here. Not much MIBR can do. They've got to have some banging flashes in this one. 
They throw that pre-spoken long doors to put out the molly. What does it do? Not put out the molly. It's too shallow. They still run through, expecting a different result. Nico blinded, finds a double. Monacy hits his, even though Jota gets the dink off and MIBR with a Glock and a Tech-9 are praying for it to stop. Uh, fire, little hot, maybe too much for exit. He's got to back away from Cap. Henny trying to do something grimy. That's a good ding. Yeah, that's a that's a Tech Nine ding. Oh, Ooh, Henny, spicy. lovely. JKS kind of can't believe it. How does a Tech Nine win from yeah. there? He's I mean, thinking. If you're a rifle, of course you keep repeating that. You have the rifle. You're not supposed to lose that. Well, Hooksy, he's more looking for trifles. He wants to give them their just desserts over in middle. Exit and Henny still trying to cook up a way to make this interesting, and they certainly could. They have split up quite a lot, really. And now feeding Hooksy over in middle. Monacy's going to deal with the last man. And so that's double digits locked in for G2. What's most reassuring out of this for me is like G2 aren't throwing away any rounds. They're not getting too audacious. They're not, you know, running up top mid, playing too confident. And, uh, and you know, losing even to Ecos, for example. These are, these are nice, tight, clean rounds out of G2. And that's reassuring. That's all it needed to be. Now I say this, he's making moves. Uh, no better round four than number 15. All this conditioning set up, never a player and lower until now, and no better time for a double headshot off the spray. It's excellent. And I don't know how MIVR are supposed to get back in. They've barely left T-spawn and they've already gone down two men. Gonna try and peek it with the flash. Monacy is blinded off the angle, but lying in wait. A little bait and switch oh, set up yeah. here. They're... I mean, Monacy's gonna kill them all. Like they won't, they won't see Hoopsy in this round. If it's not Monacy, it's Nico. Hoopsy's no, but here, it's, but he's not needed. It's a sick little bait and switch. They're yeah. really trying to get Hoopsy involved as positively True. as possible. True. You know, it's like, look, man, I'll take all the contact. I'll draw the attention. I'll light the fires, kick the tires. You name it, I'll do it. And then you come in right as they, right as they think I'm dead, right as they think it's clear, and you get all the glory. Only they're not going to go that way. They're going to go back towards spawn. But really. it's good that G2 are trying. That definitely has yeah. has been the case. They've not, you know, they've they've been setting them up a lot of these rounds. And yeah, it's been it's been good. I've been happily impressed after seeing him at blast. I was very worried, but obviously MIBR different level. You know, not quite there yet. But still, a reassuring game plan out of G2 keeps a clean map in their pocket, looking for 11 rounds. And the only thing that stands in the way is Hunter and JKS. Yeah, getting past these two at B, it's been really rough. Ooh. There's so little time here. Do they even have time? No, they don't. The and round good. Already over. Oh. And there it is, 11 for G2. Any hooksers out there, make yourselves known now. We're all having a big party after this. Hooksy and Hunter taking to lower tunnels. Looking like G2 want to try and get mid under their control. Flash in order to get them across to the Xbox. Now moving in, Turtle does lie in wait with these dual Berettas. Let's like see if flash. he's a little faster on the trigger. Flash goes in, Whoa. they peek with it. Everyone's blind, but the dual Berettas are good for the first kill. Oh, wow. and the second. Turtle's got time to get the reload off, thank goodness. Needs about 30 minutes. Put their magazines back in. A bit of light reading. Henny now taking top mid away. Gonna get the info that they're trying to go back with this oh. bomb. And trying really is the operative word here. Trying and dying to the Henny Midlurk. It's all left on JKS. Dude, that's a nice setup. And that, that's one thing that we've been saying. It's been nice from MIPR. A lot of cool flash setups being very methodical with a util. Even there in the pistol, they have a bunch of nades to set up players to frag out. Turtle does what he needs to with that double up on catwalk. And 
G2, they've got to strut their stuff. It's just JKS moving up long. Ooh, car player. Oh, he hits it. Very clean recovery. P250 fans and JKS can't find any more. It's five rounds to MIBR. Pistol in their pocket. And they're happy to see us, Harry. Yeah, it's only the beginning of the battle for this comeback, but it's certainly a nice way for it to start, isn't it? Henny's clean with it. Mate, Henny has been looking really, really nice. I just love getting to watch him again. Always good fun. And I think, you know, towards the end of his time, like with Godsent, wasn't really delivering the, the numbers we were yeah. used to seeing. That's why it's so nice having him looking this good. Right, there's an opener over at long, and Nico on the receiving end of that. Nuxi trying his hand at the car angle. Henny looking this good. I always wonder where. What's Lucassi up to? Where's he gone? Oh, that toy, that's what you're yeah, referencing. Yeah. Why don't we pronounce the one in Lucas's name? It's a great question. We were well, all thinking. We'll, we'll it. revisit it after JKS oh, is done my. doing this because the Deagle. Oh, and now the okay. Sight Rapids all start to come together. They're right up short. They're already here. Oh, but the Molly. Oh. It's burning. Brun Bier Enazan. Bier Enazan. Oh, it nearly came out as Brunzen, but it isn't. That's not his name. Exit 1v2. Up through the short side. Looking for a way back in. Spotted by the Sight player. Did, Hunter did. doing damage. Exit sat on a nade right now. Might lob that in. It's only going to tickle Hunter, but it all helps in the long run. Oh, the swing from long sees Hooksy step up and find that 12th for G2. Good save by the captain. Doesn't let him get hung out to dry there. And they double face to close it. What an eco win, dude. The Deegs, the Tech Nines, they come back in firing. And that cap to long splits, perfect. I mean, that's what happens when G2 get that, gets that much control, right? They were given way too much real estate to uh, to have problems splitting there. We never saw a split like that in MIBR's T side, mainly because they would take serious casualties just getting out the long doors with Monacy orping it so many times. Nice round stolen away by G2. And there's nothing worse than being on CT and losing second round after a pistol win because your money is cooked. You can't even get Oh, that's a beast spawn. Hell yeah, it is. You love a spawn like that. Let's go. This is going to be all up in your face. Monacy right at the front, tagged immediately Ooh. and now dead. And now the V play, little bit weird. Exit still inside of the site here, but it's getting dealt with nicely as Hunter and Nico. Quickly sweep this round under the rug. It's 13 for G2. MIBR left saving and with another eco round to follow after this one, they might only have one rifle round between them and G2 running away with dust. Ouch. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's, uh, Pretty dire weather report, Harry, but acid rain coming from the sky. Not much rain here on dust, to be honest. They're even going to flash spawn. Nerding it. And for good reason, Jota's on the corner. Nico, is he going to clear it? He thinks he has. He goes back. And that's a nice headshot. It's a clean round for G2. Four alive. Nothing Turtle can do but save. But there's no save in this situation. 13 to 5, as you said. One gun round's the difference. Won't even get to see that double orb, more than likely. Might not even see one. Dude, it's a shame, because I think it could be a really legit double orb tag yeah. team, like Kenny and Bia Enazan, Don in that. I'm assuming it would be him. Yes. You assume correctly. Yeah. Because you know who the second orb was? Cello. Yeah, yeah that's, that's so true. That's I don't so even know who gone. the fourth orb is, no. to be honest. <laughs> I don't think we need any more, no. you know? Got but uh, it would be cool. Only thing I will say is I felt like Henny and Bia and Enazan have like a similar style as to how they wanted to play. Right? Like Bia and Enazan was like a very blank slate orper when he came into it and he was pretty aggressive when he used to don it. So, you know, I, I don't know how well the crossover would work, but I do think it would be a very capable double orp that we might miss out on here for this CT half. We have a line of MIBR players over here at A. All five of them hidden somewhere inside of the site. 
And so if G2 just go B, if they just go B, there's nothing to worry about in this round. So just go B, but it's what that if? simple. What if they go A? They could. I mean, they don't know what's happening at A, and that kill might entice them to go A. Playing right into their hands. I mean, this is... Nico might die only because he's low, but I want to see a full health rifle peak this, because that's like three kills on a plate. JKS, this could be your moment. We've seen his dust to entering all the way back in Katowice. This could be like a five bullet 3K, just one spray, all dead. I think oh, JKS needs five bullets. Hunter could ruin yeah. the, the, the tale we're trying to weave here. Look at that. Album cover right there. Ah, B is free. Come on, someone should do it anyway. Yeah, JKS, go frag hunt. Go get him. Flash on, up. Huh? He's playing he's it so safe. Yeah, he doesn't on. want to give them an AK. Justin freaking Savage, man. Come on. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. But Hunter, clues in the name. He wants a little bit more, doesn't he? He's going to sit in spawn for now. They're kind of trapped, and G2 know it. Got the flank as well. Now they've spotted someone. The aggression. It's not going to be as clean as maybe it could have been, but it's a nice start. Low HP exit out. G2 just doing a bit of spring cleaning in this A site. Oh. No. Nice. Four up. Okay. No problem. And this is that one gun round he talked about, Harry. This is the, the one chance on the CT side to even play into this map. All as a result of getting forced on in the second. Oh, that one hurts. It's rough. There's no denying it. One opportunity. One chance. That's all they've got to work with here, Hugo. I thought you were about to go into something there, but... Nah, too free, too cheap. We roll on. Is B free? G2 are going to test it. Flash does force a bit of respect. Like the hunter got flashed and immediately pulled oh, the, the deagle. deagle. You like... never know, man. You never know. <laughs> well, if I'm blind, I want the gun. I got my pistol that on only me at all times. one bullet. At a time, that is. I mean, all guns only fire one bullet at a time. <laughs> it's kind of a... Sure. Well, that's not true either. But all the ones in this game do. That's why you should have two guns at all times. Yes. Yeah. Stay winning with the duelies. Fire two shots almost even, at even the same they time. fire one at a time. Yeah, yeah, but it's quicker. It's all about the speed. That's why I buy the PP Bison. Or the Negev, which is you know, that fires a lot of bullets very quickly. Mm. Which you know, still surprised I haven't seen that in a pro game ever. Wait till people figure that one out. It's very cheap, guys. There's gotta be a use for it, surely. But 38 seconds, G2, they got to do something. they got to take this mid to B. And with the smoke down, they might just leave a lurker behind it. Nico waits as the rest of his team group up for this hit. You'll notice MIBR have nothing but a flash for a retake. These two anchor players need to hold the line, Harry. Yeah, they got to do it. they got to do it or else Dust is coming to a pretty quick close. Exit with the first. Mollied into the open, but he keeps finding success. Oh. Eventually brought to a close. <laughs> Hunter and Nico with kills apiece, but a 2v2 falls into place now. A retake in at this B site's been asked for of MIBR. Turtle and Henny, the ones tasked with doing it. Grouping in the lower tunnels, silent on the approach, but this is going to take precious time off the clock with Henny sneaking. No kit either. They haven't left themselves a very big margin for error here, so let's hope there's no errors. And with an error right there, if you look at it, that will be the save for MIBR. I mean, what can you do? No, Like I said, no util, no chance, right? You're just running it in uh, into an AWP. 15 first for G2. They really had no problem rolling over MIBR in this game. There's been some bright, uh, bright signs for MIBR. There's been some moments, been some players. Uh, putting on a show, but ultimately, pound for pound, player to player, and as a team overall, G2 have uh, not been under question here. That was a immediate three on five for MIBR in their favor, back to a 
3v2, like flipped on its head the other way. Those trades are so quick. Both B players dropped after a kill, and then Nico got a mid pick as well. So that just fell apart in a second. Honestly, going quick, going fast, out long. Oh, God. Quick and, and fast. Oh, oh that's both. How, how on earth? Full blinded and burning alive, but he still them. offers it up. Manasi's even hungry for oh, more, but it's leg. only the leg, and Jota's gonna best him. Now the B play moving in, and Hunter yeah. will give over the entries when needed. G2 in a three versus two with the bomb going down. MIBR really far removed from this. They do have a kit this time. That's a little bit helpful. Gonna give them the extra five seconds, which is needed in this situation with them being so far away. But the likelihood of a 2v3 when Joe is tagged up already, I don't know, man. The odds are heavily against MIBR here. Molly on car is, oh, yeah, yeah, it's nice. JKS for stab, but he's just going to take fights, and that's probably not what you want. At this point, G2 are ready to click those buttons and close the map. The first of the series, the pick of MIBR, and it's in the pocket of G2. 